What's up guys, we just finished a flip in Cambridge, Ontario. It was an enormous transformation. Let's go inside and check it out. changed the front of this house it was so ugly it was <laughs> awful like there's garbage all yeah. over the front lawn worst it's house just, on the street for sure yeah worst house for sure and we decided to go super bold with the exterior of this house i've always kind of wanted to do like a bluish color house mm -hmm. and i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do that really make it stand out with the red door especially yeah. Um, and after it turned out really nice, the neighbors came out, thanked yeah, us totally. because it completely changed the look of their neighborhood because yeah. this was by far the worst house before we got our hands on it on the street. So yeah. now it was like one of the best. Yeah, and it was just off of downtown Cambridge. So we were playing into that whimsical downtown -y historical look with the colors and stuff. We also did new siding, all new windows throughout, black on black, inside and out. This house was totally 2022. Yeah, and honestly, this video, you'll see the complete transformation. Yeah. Like the before, I couldn't even walk through this house. It smelled so oh, bad. Oh yeah, that's right. So we took out the wall right between the living room and the dining room. As soon as you walked in, it was so tight. And the good thing is this house had like nine foot, almost 10 foot ceilings. So by taking out that wall and making it open concept, it just made it feel like even taller. Yeah, and the house really isn't that big, yeah. but the ceilings make it feel super spacious. Yeah. It was really nice. So moving into the kitchen, we totally reconfigured the layout. Before there was this really awkward, small, ugly um, island in the middle. Yeah, which, it made no sense. It made no sense. And the previous owners actually asked us if we wanted to keep it. Like they <laughs> were <ahead>. shocked. <laughs> well, they were shocked that we didn't want to yeah, keep yeah. it. And so we let them, did we let them take it? Or I'm they didn't? Sure. We said that they could take it for sure. I don't know yeah, if they did or I not. Um, but we definitely scrapped it and we decided to do a peninsula yeah. just to make the kitchen flow a little bit easier because you go up to the main floor yeah. and the basement off the kitchen. Um, and so just to make that peninsula stand out, we decided to do like a blue color that matched the yeah. exterior just to tie it all in. Yeah, we even took out a doorway that was like right where the, I don't know, where the stove is now. So we actually took that out, which we don't like take away windows, but we kind of had to in this uh, aspect just to make it functional and bigger and actually get a kitchen in there. Yeah, and it didn't really make much sense much sense that doorway because there's already patio doors like 10 feet yeah, yeah, yeah. to the right. So this doorway had no purpose. Yeah. So upstairs, the previous owner was doing all sorts of these weird renovations. I think in the master bedroom alone, he wanted to have three fans like two feet apart. It wouldn't even work, you <laughs> can't do that. So we had to like rip off all the drywall, take away all his boxes for this, it made no sense. So we just totally redid everything. Yeah, I can't believe his idea to put the three fans, yeah. but luckily we have the skills and expertise <laughs> to remove bad yes. handyman work. Um, and it made the ceiling look a lot cleaner. Yeah. Um, and another sort of area upstairs that needed a ton of work was the bathroom. Yeah. Um, this bathroom is so small. Yeah. Like I really can't emphasize just how small it was. And in the before video, you'll see like it was such a weird layout yeah. because it is so small. There's a window, they fit the bathroom, the toilet was just like randomly yeah. floating, sticking yeah. out of the doorway. And so we actually went back and forth so much on this bathroom. Yeah. Um, do we get rid of the tub? Do we yeah. keep the tub? Do we do a stand up shower? Ultimately, we decided to get rid of the tub. It was the only way to make an illogical layout. Yeah, for sure. And we put in this really nice stand-up yeah. shower with glass walls, um, and I think it was a good choice. Yeah, it turned out sweet. Turned out really good. So the basement was really small, but we finished as much as we could. Just had a nice little rec room space, and we added a full bathroom down there. Yes, so upstairs we got rid of the yes, bathtub, exactly. but we were able to put it in the basement. Yeah. So if any buyers were coming, they couldn't be sticky about yes. the fact that there is no bathtub because there was a really nice big bathtub yeah. in the basement. All right guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed the transformation. If you wanna see more videos like this and more investing tips, subscribe for one to two videos every single week. I'll see you in the next video.